After Danilo Andrusic, uh, Partizan Nis got his its second re reinforcement. Uh, Dante Exum is with us. Dante, first of all, welcome to the family. Thanks for joining us and thank you for your time during the offseason. No worries. Thank you for having me. So, uh, your first season in Europe was last year with Barcelona and you got the chance to uh, introduce yourself to European basketball fans and to introduce yourself with uh, European basketball. How do you like it? Is there anything specific you like? Is there anything specific you don't like? Yeah, and no, I think, you know, last year was kind of, you know, eye-opening to the, the, the side of European basketball. Um, no, I loved it. It was a great experience. Um, and obviously I wanted to continue it, you know, signing with Partizan. Um, I think the, you know, the main thing I loved is the fans, you know, going to, um, you know, being in the EuroLeague and, you know, traveling to, you know, all these different places and playing in front of different fans um, and different cultures, you know, it was, uh, um, it was just a good, you know, eye-opening experience for me. You gave me great go-ahead to talk about the fans because as soon as you signed the contract, as we announced that you're a player of Partizan, uh, social media were literally flooded with uh, your interview in uh, Barcelona when you were talking about Partizan fans and your former teammate who talked with you about it. So I know who it is, but you tell us who 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 with you talked about Partizan fans. Yeah, yeah, um, it's it's actually funny. Like, I, I've actually talked to a lot of people about Partizan fans, but um, so you're thinking about. Uh, either Jock or Nigel, um, you know, we had discussed, but um, my actual, it was back, I think, uh, when I was maybe like, you know, 15 or 16, um, one of my, uh, one of my friends that I, I went to uh, uh, the Australian Institute of Sport with, you know, he was Serbian and, you know, he loved the Serbian culture of, you know, basketball. And that was when I was first introduced to the, you know, the partisan fans. And, you know, he just said it was it's nothing like this in Australia. In, in the States, you can't find anything like in the world. So um, I've kind of seen them. Um, and obviously when Jock Landau signed there, you know, I knew a bit uh, more about them. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, I'm excited about, you know, getting um, out in front of the fans for that first year early game. I think it's going to be an amazing atmosphere. And I mean, every game I know that um, I've seen, and heard about, you know, how, how passionate the fans are. So I can't wait to you know, get in front of them. Great, yeah. You can expect uh, the support even in away games, especially, let's say, in Berlin in round one of your league. Uh, so you were mentioning Jack Landale. You guys played together uh, last summer in the Summer Olympics where you lost medal. Tell me something about uh, your experience in the Olympic Games and playing for the national team and how it looked uh, in Japan. Yeah, no, the Olympics was a, an amazing experience for me. You know, I think it, in a way, it was like an introduction into like European basketball um, in a sense because we played a lot of European teams. Um, you know, we played Germany, we played Italy, we played uh, Slovenia. So there was a lot of teams that we were able to go up against and, you know, kind of learn that style of basketball and, one of the you know the biggest things that's you know true still true after my experience last year playing Euroleague is that um, our bronze medal game, the intensity you know of that game and you know the pressure of it and everything. Um, someone told me every Euroleague game is like that, and I, I believe that to you know to this day you know every every round um, of games um, is that to that intensity you know every win matters and. Um, you know, it's physical, you know, difficult basketball. And um, I know definitely when you're on the road, it's hard with fans and at home, it gives you that boost that you need. People here are very much impressed with your athleticism and everything what you can do, covering positions from one to three. So tell us what we can really expect from you. What would be your role in the team? Have you had a chance to talk with the coach about it? And... Uh, what is really the position we can I mean, is it creativity or can we expect some aggressiveness? Um, I mean, I I assume we can expect everything. But what would be yeah. Available? Yeah. No, I think, you know, the idea of me signing, you know, is to bring that uh, aggressive mindset. Um, you know, I think I'm going to be playing a bit more of the point, um, you know, which I, I love to play, setting up a team and, and doing all that. But, you know, it's been that first point of contact. Um um, I love to play in transition. I think that's one of the biggest things that I'm going to try and bring, um, you know, just 
playing aggressive, um, getting downhill. Uh, and then once I'm in the paint, you know, opening things up, finding, you know, um, people um, on the perimeter. You know, I think that's going to, um, you know, really, really show um, this year. Um, I'm excited about it. And then, you know, on the defensive end, yeah, I can uh, switch one through three. Um, I think that's the, you know, one of my biggest assets. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, play hard every night. You know, that's what I, that's what I, that's my goal. Um, and, you know, just to win. Great. Thank you. We, you had a chance to cooperate with two European coaches, which are very uh, well known here in, in Serbia. One is uh, Sharas, who is very popular here. And the uh, fact that he are great. And also you had to cooperate with Igor Kokoshkov. So you kind of prepared for for European basketball after the season. Did you ever talk uh, with Igor or, I mean, with Charles in Europe, but about European basketball and the way how it, it's going on? Yeah, no, I think, yeah, even even last year, you know, first when I was coming over, you know, talking to, you know, Cyrus a lot about, you know, the, the style of European basketball, the, the, the EuroLeague and how, it, how it's run, and then, you know, even going to the Final Four, um, you know, which were, you know, in Serbia, um, and it's just a, it's just a different level of basketball. Um, so yeah, no, I, I've talked to you know a lot of people, you know, not only coaches but players that are you know played, um, you know, just about the style and um, and how to be in it. And um, yeah, you know, after last year, um, yeah, I couldn't couldn't wait to um, you know obviously try try the NBA, but um, you know I was still excited about to to come to come back over you know to Europe and, and give it another crack. Um, you know, I think the thing I was lacking last year was I came kind of in the middle of the season and, you know, was trying to, um, you know, kind of play it um, from December on. So I think this year it's going to be good. You know, I'm going to start, you know, with a, you know, a team fresh and, you know, learn the system from the start and uh, um, get it cracking from the start. Well, okay. I don't want to really take much more of you. I'm, thank you very much for joining us and we'll Forward to see you in Belgrade. I hope mid August, beginning of August. So enjoy your time, enjoy the summer, have a good rest, and looking forward. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.